Hello traders, FS Pip Galetta here. Today is Thursday, June 6th, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So, on the pound dollar, very similar to the euro dollar, I definitely still think we're either in a running flat wave C or an expanding flat wave C. I think this is going to make an uptrend either to the 123 to 138 for a running flat, or maybe it really is an expanding flat, which will probably take us out to the 178 or the 160. 61.8 Fibonacci extension, which would most likely have us taking out these previous highs. So let's take a look at it on the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I still think this is the end of a wave two right here. I think this five waves up is a wave one of wave three. I think this is a big WXY, which is a two of wave three. And I still think this is in an uptrend, which I think is a wave three, part of that expanding or running flat wave C. So taking it down to the daily time frame, on the daily time frame, I'm definitely still looking at this right here as the end of a crescent, which I think is the end of a two. I think this five waves right here is the end of a one. This is a big WXY, kind of like an expanding flat, but it's more of like a WXY. I call it expanding because it is a higher high than the wave five on the wave X and a lower low on the wave Y, but it's definitely three, three, three in my eyes. So it's a WXY. Most likely that tells me we are already in that wave three. I still think this is a one. I still think this is a two and we do not have a break of structure. So I still think we're in a wave three of three and it very easily could just keep on trending up, making higher highs and higher lows. Going down to the four hour time frame is where it definitely looks like it could make a move to the downside. I do totally agree that it looks like an A. It looks like it could be corrective up wave B. It looks like it could go down for wave C. And we do have non farm payroll news coming out tomorrow, so it would make a lot of sense if it did drift down, setting itself up hopefully for another long opportunity at the news tomorrow. But especially when you're in a wave three, and I think we're in a wave three of three, which is a wave three should be the biggest, strongest wave of a trend, and a wave three of three should be even extra strong which basically tells me that it doesn't have to go down and make that proper wave C it could literally just keep on making higher highs and higher lows which is why I am ignoring all sorts and I'm looking for longs in an uptrend heading down to the one hour time frame like I was just explaining on the full hour it definitely looks like this should be going down in a downtrend for a wave C and it would make a lot of sense if this did trend down over the next day or so setting itself up for a long at the non farm payroll news that we have on Friday if it does drift down all day long and it does give us at the end of a trend tomorrow at the news then it would be a really good opportunity to go long but like I said if we're in a wave three especially if it is a wave three of three on the much higher time frames it really does doesn't have to go down like that. It can literally just go down a little bit, make a higher low, make a higher low, and just continue the uptrend, which is why when we're in an uptrend in the higher time frames, I do ignore all the sorts, but instead I just go along at every single chance I get at the end of every single pullback I see for the continuation of what I think is a wave three of wave three. So definitely be careful going short. It looks like it should go down to one of these lower fib levels, but it definitely may not go down there. As always, thank you and happy trading.